Here's the story of John Star Actors. We were busy kids making lots of bus. I a car. All of us had great careers, thanks to our parents, Woo! but wound up getting <laughs> till the one day when our group shared common stories over OCD, depression, and some lunch. Let's begin. I know I speak on behalf of the Chester family when I say thank you all for tuning in. As we honor the great memory of Chewy Chester, I'm sure we all wish we could be here in person during these challenging times. So I want to again thank you. Now, Chewy was born on January 5th, 1948 in Sarasota, Florida to circus performers Chubby and Binky Chester. He was born to entertain. So it came as no surprise when he moved to Hollywood and became a stunt performer. His IMDB page reads like a major movie stars. He was in films like Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, Return of the Jedi, and Beach Bunnies. And how can anyone forget his performance in 1967's The Shrimps Are Back and There's Gonna Be Trouble. He worked with major movie stars and he always stayed humble. <laughs> we will all miss Chewy Amadeus Chester. We will now give each of you some time to pay your respects. First, we have Jeremy Miller. I worked with Chewy on a show for five years that I was the star of, Growing Pains. He was my stunt double, and Chewy was always so supportive of my career. Uh, if he was here now, I know he'd get his little butt to a computer screen to support me and to watch my one-man show, The Life and Times of Alexander Graham Bell. Um, here's a flyer. Depending on the kind of computer you have, there is an HD option. So goodbye, my little friend. I'll always remember you, and I will be dedicating this performance, my performance as Alexander Graham Bell in The Life and Times of Alexander Graham Bell, to your memory. Thank you, Jeremy. Next, we have Ricky Pritchard. Hi. Uh, <clears throat> it's pronounced Pritchard. <clears throat> uh, well, um, hello, everyone. Um, you, uh, probably, uh, don't know who the hell I am. <laughs> uh, and well, to be honest, uh, uh, Dineke, yeah, Chewy as well. Um, but, uh, from what, uh, everyone said, he sounds like a nice, uh, wee person. Uh, he didn't sound like a, a skinny malinky long legs. <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh, oh, geez. Whew. Uh, I should have had a few babies before I came. Huh? <laughs> yeah, I should be steaming right now. I didn't care what to say. Uh, except rest in peace, wee man. Rest in wee little pieces. I And uh, God bless and uh, thank you. That was different. Next, we have Scotty Schwartz. Hey, listen, I just have a minute before I've got to get out of here. But, I mean, why is it so easy to have a eulogy? I mean, you know, you only need the introduction, then the conclusion. The body's already there. Alrighty then. Tough crowd. All right, well, I got it. <laughs> Thank you, Keith. I appreciate that. Go, Scotty. Go, Scotty. Good guy. So I, have one, I have one quick story and then I'll move on. 
Um, you know, if you think you're Catholic, you may relate to this. There was a woman who had six kids with her husband. Uh, the husband passed away and then she got married again and she had four more kids. Well, sure enough, that husband died as well and had three more kids. And then he passed and then finally she passed. Well, standing in front of the coffin, the preacher prayed to the Lord above, thanking him for this loving woman who fulfilled her commandments to go forth and multiply and have babies and all that stuff. And he said, you know, Lord, they're finally together. One of the mourners looked at his friend next to him and said, uh, you think he's referring to the first husband, the second husband, or the third husband? And the other guy looked at it and said, I think he meant her legs. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. One guy, Keith. Well, that was just great. Thank you. I appreciate it was, that. It was Keith the Hogan, ladies and gentlemen. Thank I you. don't get it. I don't totally I, get it. Okay, it Debbie, really we'll good. explain it later. Uh, listen, I got to get out of here, so... You know, Chewy, rest in peace, my friend. I believe I knew that woman. Her name was Tammy. Next, we have Keith Coogan. Oh, Chewy. Uh, God, what you say about Chewy? Chewy was just just that. He was um, he was Chewy. He you just wanted to pick him up and just bite him into him and just eat him and and um, yeah, I can't help but think that uh, in these times. You know, I, I really don't want to say goodbye, Chewy, because we're all probably going to die. So I'm going to say, um, we'll see you soon, Chewy. And I, it brings up a story uh, when I was shooting uh, Don't Tell Mom the Babysitter's Dead. And I was up on the roof and shooting the dishes and saying probably one of the most iconic lines, <clears throat> dishes are done, man. Um, <laughs> uh, the Chewy was the one that um, had to run out and pick up the little... Uh, pieces, broken plates between each take. It's just so I... Mm -hmm. Hold on. <laughs> I just I just love a little guy, and I want to say that, you know, um, we'll see you soon. <gasps> God, I love Chewy. <laughs> oh, it was so beautiful, Keith. It was so beautiful. It was so beautiful. <laughs> it was good. It's really good. The lovely Judy Norton is next. I've known Chewy for a long time. I mean, we went all the way back to my days as a young girl on the Waltons. When I turned 18, he would always ask me out, and I kept turning him down, and he would say, it's because I'm small, isn't it? And I would say, no, no, it's just, it's just not the right time. But the real reason was because he smelled like mothballs. I hated that smell. Well, I would I would keep in touch with Chewy over the years, and every time I saw him, he would always greet me with a big hug because he had a big heart. And I will miss my Chewy hugs. And my wish is for Chewy to be remembered as the, the kind-hearted man that he was. Chewy, may you rest in peace. That was very nice. Finally, Daniel Pintaro. You know, Chewie used to prefer funerals to weddings. He said it was easier to get enthusiastic about a ceremony one had an outside chance of eventually being involved in. <laughs> in order to prepare this speech, I, I rang a few people to get a general picture of how Chewie was regarded by those who met him. Small seems to be a word that people most connected with him. Terribly nice, also rang a lot of bells. So very tiny and very nice seems to have been a stranger's viewpoint. On the other hand, some of you have been kind enough to ring me and let me know that you loved him, which I know he would have been thrilled to hear. You remember his fabulous hospitality, his strange experimental cooking, his... Wait a minute, I know that. I use that monologue in audition. That's from four weddings and a funeral. I don't know what you I knew that about. sounded familiar. Seriously, dude? I, I, oh, okay, okay, it's, so it's a monologue, so what? 
Oh, you're such a jerk. Okay. I think we've all had enough. I think it would be best to continue the memorial service with just the family. Goodbye. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Before you hang up on us, um, actors, uh, go ahead. Uh, uh, wrap it up. Child, Child actors, we're, we're, we're actors, actors we, we are. are. Uh, yes! And, and scenes. Magic. Oh my god, that was so good, Keith. That was so good.